Hello everyone, welcome back to another Future Tech Ideas How To. Um, now I'm over here in my group called the Sky Watchers of Maine, and uh, somebody wants to know um, how to add a photo to a group. See how I got this photo right here? Um, so they're wanting to know how to do that. Uh, I believe it's Ariane Marie. Um, she wants to know how to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and show her. You go to your group page, which I'm at my group, my group right here. Um, you won't see this, okay? You won't see a a uh, photo. Uh, you'll basically see a bunch of pictures of members of your group. <clears throat> now, what you got to do is take your mouse and move up over over to the uh, right hand right hand corner here. Um, and you'll say change group photo. Click on that. Then you go to upload a photo. Click on upload a photo. Um, that'll it'll open up this box to search your uh, your computer for your photo that you want to upload. Um, so basically, you just choose which photo you want to upload. Um, also to note, make sure that the photo you're uploading is a correct size because I believe sometimes they they have a limit on how big the photo can be. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use this right here. Um, click on that, and let's see if this it'll allow me to upload this. It may not. So let's just see and wait. Hopefully nobody notices the change right now. Uh, so it's still uploading. Uh, yep, it allowed me to upload it. So this photo did not have to be uh, resized in any way. Um, now in order to save these changes, you just click save change and then you'll keep this photo. And then there you go. You have a new, uh, new uh, cover photo for your group on Facebook. Uh, I don't want to save it, so I just exit it out. But this photo here, I had to actually resize this photo because it's uh, too big. Um, so I had to download a uh, resizer uh, on a on CNET. Um, just go to CNET. This is where I get my uh, most of my programs. Um, and so it's probably going to take a while on Wi-Fi. Up oh, there it goes. Now, once you just go once once the CNET loads up, go to download. It'll take you to the download section where you can download all your free uh, free programs and whatnot. Um, find software. Now make sure to choose your platform. If you're on Windows, Mac, or whatever, make sure you click which one you're on. Uh, then go down here and just go uh, click picture resizer. Or, excuse me, type picture resizer. And search. And results for picture resizer. And you just scroll down and you find the one that looks good for you. Um, free picture resizer starter. Uh, there's all types of them down here. Just look at the ratings and the uh, popularity levels and make sure to get the right one. Um, I don't recommend getting Photo Story 3 because it's got a lot of other crap in there. I recommend just getting it, one of these little resizers and that light image resizer or something like that. I recommend just getting that and then uh, resizing your pictures that way. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically how you resize your your group photo for Facebook um, make sure to mouse over like on the top right hand corner and, uh, and that should that little uh, thing right there that option should pop up now if you're not like a uh, administrator if you're not like the owner of this group or whatever or not able to do changes then that won't show up you won't be allowed to change the group photo um, so yeah just make sure you go up to the top where you see the uh, profiles of people and uh, click change group photo then you are good to go. Now I know many people know how to do this, but I'm doing this just because somebody asked how to do it. Uh, so yeah, that's how you do it, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to click the like button. Also leave comments below if there's something else you'd like me to show you how to do. Um, it's very easy stuff. I like doing it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to click the like button if you have not subscribed, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.